Hello and welcome to Do Education and thank you for joining. My name is Steve and I'm here to help you study English. Our main goal is to improve your English skills so that you can comfortably speak with native English speakers like me. Do Education, that's us, produces English videos and teaches English online to help our entire member base grasp a better understanding of the English language. Now sit back and relax and get ready to learn because this ESL video is about real estate investing for the first timer. Find out at the end of this lesson how you can get your free gold membership to study English with live ESL teachers. Included is a free English lesson with one of our teachers. Also, you will find more English videos for you to watch, a social network to meet other ESL students, and much, much more. It's all free. So we hope you enjoy the video and learn a lot. The title of this video is called Real Estate Investing for the First Timer. You have probably read all the information on the market as it relates to real estate investing and are well aware that many of the world's millionaires made their fortunes in the real estate market. So made their fortunes it means and it refers to where they made their money. How did they earn money? Fortune meaning everything that they made or created or everything that they own all of their money and obviously made their money. There is certainly nothing wrong with this as an investment strategy though there are many wrong ways in which an investor can go about the process. There is no formula in this business that guarantees success. And when they say formula they mean there is no way or there is no exact method or there is no only one way that you should do this because when you invest in real estate there are many many ways many many different kinds of real estate as well even seasoned professionals will find the occasional bump in the road even on a property for which they had high expectations seasoned professionals. Now seasoned refers to somebody that has a lot of experience. So if you are seasoned it means you likely have 10, 15, even 20 or longer years in a particular field. And the professional is referring to anybody that is very good at their job. But a lawyer is a professional. Um, if you are a very seasoned or experienced real estate investor then you would be an experienced seasoned professional and bump in the road means problems or situations that might cause a delay or a slowdown and they recur they refer to the bump in the road meaning your road is usually smooth and you don't have a bump but sometimes you might go bump and then you have that problem that you have to take care of. After you fix the problem, the bump goes away. Real estate is one of the few forms of investment in today's society in which you can actually see the changes as they are occurring. It is truly amazing to watch a property that was once neglected and in a state of disrepair suddenly spark back to life right before your very eyes. State of disrepair. Well this refers to the current situation of the real estate property. How is the property or real estate investment or house or whatever it is, how is it now? Is it in good shape? Is it in bad shape? Uh, does it need a lot of repair? So when they say state of disrepair, it means usually it's really hard to repair it. It might be 
it might need a lot of repairs. So when you say something is in state of repair, disrepair, it means it's very hard to repair it. And then suddenly spark back to life. Well, if anybody has ever seen a fire and how you start that fire would be to create a small spark, maybe with a, a match or with lighters. When you create that spark, you can also say it's starting something. And in this case, it's starting the fire, but specifically start spark back to life means you are starting something new. So the house that is in state of disrepair will become new again. There is a lot of work involved in this process though, and this is often overlooked. Today, we will discuss flipping. Flipping is a form of real estate that means you buy a house, fix the house up, or repair any damage, and then sell it for a profit. So I don't think I need to talk about flipping, but I just wanted to point that out. Flipping is basically buying the house for less money and then selling it for a profit. When flipping real estate, you need to have a plan and a budget in writing. One great rule of thumb is that you set aside double the amount of money you plan for in your budget. Rule of thumb refers to anything that's a good habit or something that you should do is a rule of thumb. And again, it's anything that would be a very good idea to do or a good habit to have is a rule of thumb and in this case they're talking about double the amount of money in your budget would be a good habit to have or a good rule of thumb this gives you a bit of a safety net for the inevitable things that will go wrong and a safety net is referring just like it is it's a net that will catch something but the safety net means if a problem happens, you will be safe. So that would be a safety net, meaning uh, you have protection. And inevitable, inevitable means it's going to happen. Something is going to happen. And in this case, real estate investing, there usually are problems that happen. So it's in inevitable. For the first Sorry, for your first few investment purchases, it is recommended that you purchase properties that need little more than minor cosmetic repair rather than complete rehabs or renovations. So minor cosmetic repair would mean the smaller things that need to be repaired like painting and maybe changing the carpet or the flooring and uh, making things look prettier putting planting flowers so making things that are uh, the easier things nothing structural like the electricity or plumbing or anything this allows you to get your feet wet without the incredible risk of going off the deep end mentally emotionally and financially so feet wet would mean to start doing something so this allows you to start doing something and you're not going to have a lot of risk. Keep your eye on the carrot at the end of the project. Eye on the carrot, if you are a rabbit you are looking that you want a carrot and the carrot is the final end of this project. So make sure you keep an eye on the carrot. Far too many would-be property investors give up just before they reach the point of true profitability. The goal is the profit at the end of the project. Well, there you go. And this concludes the ESL video about real estate investing for the first time. And I do hope you enjoyed it. If you like this video and would like to watch more ESL videos like this, then you can go to www dot study dash English dash now dot com and create your free gold membership here you can get your free English lesson with a real t English teacher more English videos and much much more so until next time keep watching for our new videos and we 
hope you have a good day. Take care. Bye for now.